Hi, friend. Well, a lot of us are saying that is not my friend, but she can be. Yeah. They really do have the sweetest little feet. Like, you can shake hands with her if you want. Really? Yeah. I even get a high five. She is high fiving you. Woodland Park Zoo's Aaron Sullivan is here to set us straight. Spider myth number one. There is this uh, very scientific study that says that uh, we swallow eight spiders a year in our sleep. Yeah. Is this true? Yes. No, <laughs> not at all. It's impossible to know, you know. Um, there's also another myth that says you're never more than three feet away from a spider. I appreciate the concept of both of those, which is a little bit of, hey, spiders are out there, they're going to be in your house, be aware of it. But I really doubt that you are swallowing that many spiders. Again, it's not in their best interest either. <laughs> Myth number two, spiders will bite if given the chance. They are an animal that can bite. They don't often, they don't want to, but they can. But so do squirrels. You know, true, true. <laughs> it's not in their best interest to try to bite us. We're bigger. Which brings us to number three. That's definitely a spider bite. There's just not that many medically significant mm. spiders in the area and not that many biting spiders either. Um, and there are lots of other things that can cause bites, you know, and it's just impossible to know. You can't actually look at the bite and, right. and know. Number four. Spiders are coming out of my drain! Those are male house spiders, and they're just out looking for love. And they get thirsty. Huh. So they go to your bathtub where there's usually a little bit of water around the drain, right. but they can't get out. And five, daddy long legs could kill, if only their fangs were long enough. There's harvest men, which right. um, are little arachnids that run around um, on the ground that is what I call a daddy long hmm. leg. And it's, it's an arachnid, but it's not a true spider. It only has one body part. They don't even have fangs. So ah. that's not even a possibility. Even though she works with spiders daily, Erin admits because of the way they look and move, we all have an innate fear. I will never forget a time I was working in the bug house um, and I moved a flower pot and I screamed and jumped even out you. of the way um, because there was a spider there that I was not expecting. <laughs> and I definitely you know, got teased for that. I was like, hey, healthy respect. She hopes with a little knowledge, we can turn our fear into fascination. She's continuing to wave. Thank 